All right. So, hi there, everybody. My name is Evie Schweig. And I'm Mary Ellen Zung. And we're both certified holistic health coaches uh, with a common passion for educating, guiding, and inspiring people to live their best lives through eat a healthy lifestyle and healthy lifestyle choices. This Take 20 program is a way for us to share current health topics in a short 20 minutes that will help you improve your health. And by participating in this program, thank you, we hope to inspire you to take steps to live your best life. All right, exactly. And in this and future topics, we'll be discussing ways for you to improve your health, whether that be through eating a healthier diet or upping your physical activity, maybe getting better sleep or maintaining healthy relationships, uh, even looking at your career and even like tonight, talking about stress and stress management. Yeah. And if you've missed the monthly topics that we've done in the past and want to check them out, you can find the recordings on the Facebook group called Tips for a Healthy Lifestyle with Evie and Mary Ellen. And we also have a YouTube channel called Take 20 Tips. So you can right. find other recordings there as well. Right. And we do tend to kind of follow topics too that kind of overlap. So sometimes it's good to look back at those old ones, right? Mm. Um, so, uh, boy, what a few what a few weeks it's been, right? I think we've all been talking about um, being uh, stay at home. Um, our work and our school schedules are different. Uh, like I said, we're at home. Uh, events and meetings have been canceled or rescheduled. Uh, and a lot of it's been done through the internet and we've been using Zoom. We were just talking about how people are really getting good at Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've all been washing our hands, cleaning surfaces in the home, uh, social distancing, a new word that we're all really familiar with now, and taking precautions to avoid becoming infected with this uh, coronavirus that's uh, responsible for the COVID-19. Uh, so we're being asked to stay at home when at all possible. Yeah, so we know how to protect ourselves, which is great. And I think for the most part, people are heeding the warnings. But um, mm -hmm. Evie and I were just talking before that um, from day to day, most of us are starting to hear about people that we actually know that yeah. are infected and maybe have even lost their lives. So mm -hmm. um, we, it's even more important now than ever to really um, make sure that we are heeding those warnings and protecting our immune system, making sure that our immune system is functioning at its optimal level because we don't want to have like a secondary cause. If we do get it, we want to be able to fight the infection if we do get it. So, and we know that stress is one of the major factors that can weaken your immune system. So we're going to talk tonight about how to focus on that stress and reduce that stress. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been having these forums for connection, discussion, and support, and we've been doing that to allow people to vent and discuss and talk about what they're going through. So, and some people don't have that, and some people aren't talking about the stress that they feel mm -hmm. and don't know where to go. So if you're feeling under stress, um, we're glad that you're here tonight. <laughs> these are very difficult. Right and challenging and, um, as I said, stressful times for us all. Mm -hmm. Even if we're healthy, the added stress and the fear of the unknown, changing your work and school schedules, canceling yeah. social plans, not being able to see your friends, lowers your immunity. So um, we wanna give you a break and add some positive stress relief to your, to your new- Give you some tools, right? Yeah, we're gonna give you some tools. <laughs> So let's take a look at how we can be reducing our stress during this right. coronavirus outbreak and also going forward. Right, exactly. So one of the first things that Mary Ellen and I talked about uh, to reduce stress is just to be outdoors. And I know right now that's a little bit difficult to do given that we've been told to social distance, but it is a great way to get out to commune with nature that just naturally brings down our stress levels. Um, it naturally strengthens our immune system when we do this. We, we breathe in fresh air that helps clear our lungs. Um, the sunshine, which we had a lot of today, thank goodness, it helps us produce vitamin D, which is necessary for optimal immune function as well. So being outdoors can also help 
relieve uh, the stress and improve our mood. Um, it reduces depression and anxiety. Just all this just by being outdoors and communing with nature. So we suggest, we encourage you, uh, if possible, to get outside, be safe, you know, do your social distancing, but um, take a walk. Um, your dog will love you for it. <laughs> Um, but uh, maybe if you don't feel comfortable being out in the neighborhood, you could be out in your yard now. We were saying that the weather was beautiful today. Great day to get out and rake up some of those leaves and clean up uh, some of the debris from the winter. Um, whatever outdoor pleasure that you enjoy, uh, we encourage you to get out there and do it. Um, even if you're not able to get out there and really physically move around. Just sitting out on the porch and getting the sun and feeling the warmth of that sun and getting that fresh air um, will improve your health. Just listening to those birds too. Oh, those are so yes, nice. what a great point. <laughs> Having the open sky, yeah. Mm -hmm. So another way to reduce stress is to cultivate a positive attitude. And one way to do this is to, to develop a practice that allows us to better cope with stressful situations when they present themselves. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why we talk about cultivating a practice. So if you have that practice, you know, you, you're, you're bit better able to, during this time and any time in your life, you know, handle stress. So um, let's talk about a couple of those coping mechanisms yeah. that help reduce stress. I'm sure you've got a few ideas, you don't you? <laughs> Well, yeah. Um, how about that news that yeah. we're watching? Yeah. Um, you know, if you do a little something every day, you'll be able to manage your stress levels before they manage you. So turning off the news, mm -hmm. taking a social media break. Um, a lot of this news is alarmist and some of it is just repetitive. You know, it's just repackaged and repeats the same thing, but you're, you're being bombarded with the same messages all the time. So it can leave us feeling a little hopeless. Um, so turn off the news. Reach out to people that you know will make you feel happy and positive right. and avoid those people that are listening to the news 24-7 and right. are not going to be positive and are going to be talking to you about it and talking to you about how worried they are. Yeah. You know, try to avoid those situations. Yeah, uh, I'm sure we all know people like that, right, Marianne, that you just you get a negative feeling about, or, or they, they make you sad when you're talking with them. Um, it's best at this, this time to, and, and actually it might be easier, right? If we're at home, uh, that we don't, we're not seeing these people as much, yeah. but yeah. Um, but actually making that intentional reach out to the positive people. Yes. Know, think about yeah. who are those positive people. Um, so, so what else, yeah. Evie? Um, well, you know, uh, people, yes, have an, have an influence on us, um, but, you know, even doing something like watching an uplifting movie uh, or reading a good book, and maybe we intentionally pick some of those happier movies, um, chick flicks, you know, <laughs> that <laughs> um, have a happy them. ending might be a great way to lift your mood. The same thing with a good book that um, maybe is a more positive uh, mm -hmm. outlook to it. Uh, if you have more time on your hands and you're feeling like you're kind of getting bored, I know a lot of people are, are kind of at their wits end being indoors. Now is a great time to get back to a favorite hobby, whether that is a hobby or a, a pastime or a project. Uh, I know my family has been doing puzzles, okay? Three weeks in quarantine or and we've got three puzzles under our belt. So um, it could be something like that. Um, my husband decided to refinish our kitchen table. So we, nice. something good is coming from this. Mm -hmm. How about you, Mary Ellen? Um, what have you been finding pastime wise that you guys have been doing? Uh, I don't know. The three of us are just so busy working all the time. Okay. <laughs> and, that, and that does happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. But so that is, I have that is gotten into the busy. garden more. Mm -hmm. And I have in past years, um, yeah. you know, um, cleaning my own house and doing my own gardening. It's great. Planting that ha house cleaning. That house cleaning has taken up a lot more time <laughs> than I thought. Right, right. <laughs> and laundry. <laughs> That's always there. 
It's always there. But the the idea is just to do something to distract yourself, um, to take your mind off the worries, to keep you from watching that TV set that might be um, having all those negative messages messages and producing fear in you um, and help you be a little bit more productive by uh, avoiding it. Yeah. I think another, um, maybe one of the best ways to reduce stress is to actively cultivate gratitude. And we can do that, um, you know, intentionally through journaling and through meditation. Um, I know I just today got back to my gratitude journal and, um, and my journal, I have two, I have the gratitude journal and then just something, a book that I just like to write in when I'm confused Mm -hmm. or there's something going on. I think this is going to be a historic event and I just want to write about it in my journal about what's happening every day so I can remember it years from now and how we were positive and how we lived through it and um, how everything came out okay, hopefully. Um, yeah. So a I gratitude journal idea. can be, yeah. Um, I actually saw um, some families doing it, like with their kids. They were teaching their kids, like this is going to be a historic time where you look back and you see that this was a different kind of time for everybody and like start to make notes about what it means to you yeah, and what it's like for you and what you're doing. Cause it is, it is different. Um, right. None of us really know when we come out of this, what life is going to be like, are we all going to go back to the way things were or are people going to be uh, different? I don't know. Yeah. So a gratitude journal can be as simple as writing down three things every day that you're grateful for. Mm-hmm. And it can be, you know, maybe first thing in the morning or in the evening before you go to bed. And it's even more helpful if you do that extra step and take a moment to explain to yourself and your journal yeah. why yeah, yeah. you're grateful for those things. Right. To make you actually think about why you picked that as the reason, right? Yeah. And it just gives you a deeper understanding mm-hmm. of, uh, you know, so... Uh, you know, maybe I say I'm grateful for a roof over my head. Well, Mm -hmm. you know, why am I grateful for that? (laughs) That can get into like some history of like, Mm -hmm. I've made good decisions through my life that I have a safe home and a place to Mm -hmm. live. And right. Um, Studies show that um, thinking positive thoughts actually changes your attitude. And in this case, the positive attitude helps your immune system, which is what we're talking about. But there are physical studies that show that that chemically in our bodies, we actually do um, change just by the Mm -hmm. thoughts that we're thinking. So if we, if we, they say too, if you make yourself smile, you actually will feel happier. So it's it's all wrapped up in that that uh, philosophy. Mm-hmm. So that's good. You know, um, the the other thing too, talking about this uh, being positive is, uh, and what you were saying, Mary Ellen, about taking a few minutes each day just to be grateful. Uh, another way to do this is to simply, especially if you're feeling stressed, is to relieve that stress by just stepping back for a moment, being in the moment, and um, maybe just taking three to six deep breaths. Um, I, I find that there are through several times during the day where I just feel like, okay, this, I'm getting overwhelmed with these thoughts. I'll just sit back quietly, collect myself for a moment. And, um, I, I envision actually inhaling positive, good energy with each breath and then exhaling like negative energy and toxins and and the bad that's inside. So you're almost purifying yourself with your breath. Um, Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a shorter inhale and then extend the exhale because as we were saying, that physically changes the chemical combination of the body or or the thought process to actually calm you physically. So you're by doing that. Should we try it? together yeah, let's let's do that <laughs> um, if everybody would like to join us um, why don't you just um, sit comfortably in your chair um, I find it helpful to close my eyes um, and what we'll do is we'll take a deep inhale through our nose 
You can exhale through the mouth then if you'd like, but at your own pace. Let's try it for three breaths. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. And at the end of that last breath, if you slowly want to open your eyes again, or leave them closed for a second or two. Just think about how you're feeling now. Are you a little bit more calmer than you were when you went into this? If you did it for six breaths, would you feel more calm? It's a wonderful tool for us all to use. And it doesn't take anything other than centering ourselves and thinking quietly for a few moments. Doesn't take much time. And calm is the word that I would have come up with too. Yeah. And it really lowers your blood pressure, yeah, it clears your thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Helps your stress. And it's, <laughs> you know, it's a form of meditation. Um, there are some apps that Evie and I like to use. Um, mm -hmm. For example, Headspace is a good app. Um, I've also been getting 100 days of mindfulness exercises from mindfulnessexercises.com. Yeah, you turned you me on to that, Mary Ellen. It's free. <laughs> it's so good. And every morning you get um, a recording, an email with a recording. And I just sit and, you know, in, in the first, the first couple of weeks, it's like three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and they get longer and longer. And I'm up to like 36 minutes. I know I'm only <laughs> at seven minutes, but, but um, it is it's wonderful. It really and is nice. It's great. Yeah. And it so. comes to you, right? And we were talking about how it's not always easy to, to do because our minds aren't used to this, you know, just kind of taking a time out. Hey, it's a great time to learn. If, if you have tried meditation before, you know, maybe this is a time to, to try it again and right. use some of these resources that are free yes. um, to help you get through it. And speaking of that, Mary Ellen, I actually have been taking a meditation class with a young woman named Tracy Fadden. Um, she is online. She does online meditations. Um, I, I, asked her if I could share her information tonight. Um, her, she has a website with um, some free mini meditations, um, but she's also offering free meditation programs through the month of April. Uh, I, I think she said they were on That's Sundays great. and Mondays. So I'm, I'm actually doing that on Sundays with her. Uh, but uh, you all are invited to go to her website. It's called reveriemeditation.com. So it's reveriemeditation.com. Reverie and yeah, she we said, can, yeah, yeah, we well, can put that on the, um, the, tips, on the Facebook, Facebook yeah, group. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, if you use the code free, free April, so free April, um, that uh, the courses will be free. So I, I asked her if we, I could share that with you all today. And she said, sure, that would be great. So this was just part one of our stress reduction for immune health because we just have the 20 minutes. Um, we are actually going to be doing part two on May 5th. Right. So we hope we, that you can join us again, you know, maybe practice some of these things this month and then we'll do part two on May 5th. Right. And, you know, we normally would be doing a program uh, in the middle of April, which is our metamorphosis program, which is a uh, detox supporting cleanse. But um, given the circumstances, we were, we were thinking that it might be difficult for people to get out and do the grocery shopping and whatnot. We may end up doing it later on this year, but we haven't quite decided yet. But Mary Ellen and I still would like to support you during this time. And um, on our Facebook page, we are posting um, an opportunity for people to just let us know what it is right now, how they feel they could be best be supported, and how maybe we could help serve you uh, with a five-day program maybe, or something to that effect. Uh, in the past, we've done, you know, uh, sugar craving um, 
programs. What yeah. else, Mary Ellen, were we talking about? We were talking about, we got some feedback um, from the forum the other night about um, comfort food. Yeah. And how do you create healthy comfort food? Right. So exactly. we were trying to think of, okay, one day we could do a salty, one day we could do a crunchy, one day we could do a creamy, one day we could do a chocolate. Um, so maybe something like that, yeah. you know, nice and simple. And it's going to be a free program. Right. So if you have any ideas uh, of what you'd like to do. Yeah, for, you could put it, they group. could just put it down in the uh, chat box or they could go on to the Facebook page, which is uh, Tips for a Healthy Lifestyle with Evie and Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. And um, Evie and I are doing a lot more cooking videos now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Since all of our uh, talks in the community that we yeah. do and for employers have been canceled, uh, we have more time to do yeah. online videos. So please so follow speaking us. Of comf comf right, Comfort Foods. I did one today. It's on my um, oh, yeah. Facebook page, which is Evie Skozafaba Schweig, which is hard. But if you just did Evie Schweig, I'm sure it would come up. And Mary Ellen, you're posting one tomorrow on that dinner, right? Oh, yeah. The vegan mushroom bourguignon with oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> mashed that potatoes, good. I love it. Oh, yeah, that's I good. I love it. Yeah, so awesome. So, so we have yeah, um, so we've we've gone a little bit over the time, but if anybody has any questions, um, please uh, put them in the chat box or. Right. We look forward to hearing. Does and and you know we we're willing to stay on for a couple more minutes if anybody has a question. But if you need to go, we certainly understand. We appreciate you being here tonight and hope that you join us for our May fifth program, which will be more tips on de-stressing. Okay, so I see in the chat box people like the idea of healthy comfort food. All right, I love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Everybody could use that. Yeah. I did a blog on that on my, um, my webpage, uh, this for my blog, my monthly blog, this, uh, and that's what I, why I ended up doing the online chat with yeah. the, I did raw cookie dough. So, so <laughs> if anybody's interested, um, ask Mary Ellen and I'll channel it through her for you. <laughs> it doesn't have any flour or sugar. Or right. Eggs. Exactly. Yeah. Or eggs. You have to guess what the ingredients are. That's right. Oh, if you or guess, watch, yeah. or watch Evie's watch Evie's video. That's right, Mary Ellen. You have a prize for them if they have a guess, if they guess it right. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> no pressure, right? You get um, free our 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 new free program for free. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That sounds good. Well, thank you everybody for joining tonight. Good night, everybody. And, um, we hope that if you're not a member of the Tips for a Healthy Life Healthy Lifestyle with Evie and Mary Ellen, that you join our group. Please, um, we'd love to have you. Open group, and um, yeah, we'd love to have you. So stay well, everyone. Yes, please stay well, and stay healthy, and we'll see you next month. Take, Take care. Good night. Bye bye now. Good night.